And we are back to abandoned ship. So, um, we have our goal. Um, small cult supply vessel straight into your path. The target is too tempted to resist as will be laden with ill-gotten gains for you to plunder. Uh, maybe we are pirates slash privateers. I don't know with privateers. And we could say uh, we we're just doing our job, even if it's a bad one. Then the ship and tackle will reap much greater rewards. Well, that's the idea. Go there. Are you still auto firing at the mast? Maybe you should do that as well. Maybe I should have you on the mortar or something instead. Um, being in goop is probably bad. Idle. I don't need you to be idle. I need you to like heal yourself or something. Why do you refuse to heal? There we go. Why do you refuse to shoot? So you just can't heal until... Well, you may as well go do something then. One more shot in our sails will allow us to. Or not. Uh, can't ram until we're closer. Great time to pause. Weapon not loaded. Yeah, but we're working on that, though. Okay, so we aim for somewhat center ship. That hit the mess. If you get a little closer, you can pummel them at the grape shop. Okay, we can ram them now. Um, not squander the opportunity but first do that But he's basically sick. Try to keep a close eye.
Try to make sure nobody on my side dies. Go. Give me them loot. All the loot. All those packed with supplies will put them to much better use than whatever the cult had planned for them. Presumably. Okay, yeah, you, you, can, you, can, you can stop that now. Um, so, okay, leave combat. We're gonna go do this because we need to give you a place to be at the start of things. Uh, you may as well be on a mortar, I guess. I'm going to put you on there, you are going to go mortar. And by you, I mean me. Cool. Um, okay, so we can wait on those to lower our, like, wanted bar, perhaps? Well, admittedly, I don't see our wanted bar go up that much. Yeah, let's start doing them. We've been keeping a watch on a cult ship, which has board the vessel belonging to the Artisans Guild. They could avoid conflict entirely. The Artisans are always willing to pay their debts handsomely. Alright, let's be the good guys. Even though the cult crew were quick to react, we managed to close the gap considerably before battle was joined. Wait, join, so it's like 2v1 now? Is that a thing? No. Oh, they got one of them ugly buggers in there. Cool. And by cool, I mean... Mm. Okay, so they are trying to run, so keeping their masks down is probably still a good idea. Nice shot, dude. Nice shot. Should probably have somebody on the grape shot, actually. Considering they don't seem too good at trying to run away. I can't help but wonder how they manage to always be like one step ahead of us. Like, they seem less manned, yet they seem to fire quicker, seem to repair faster. I probably just imagine things, either that or this. Circle represents less health than this one. I guess that's not impossible. Okay, we're gonna be boarding soon, so... Stay right about here. Almost. Let's fire this one and then we'll uh, go for it. Alright. Brace for impact! Brace for impact. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. 
what's he gonna do now? Is he just gonna be there? No, well, he's coming back. Oh, he ew. Let's not go fight in the goop, okay? Nice. Once you've salvaged what you can, you head towards the artisan's ship. Cool. It would be quite stupid though if you're boarding and then like, hey, surprise, lightning. Artisans are thankful for the rescue, the companies are set to repairing what they can, while others carry across sample supplies, all free of charge for the help. Cool, full haul. Cult defeated timer. Oh, it's a ti- oh, I hate timers. <laughs> you know it, I know it. Alright, let's see what we still need to do. Yeah, let's go do those two there. Spagulus is drained on a reprehensible site, a cult slave ship. It's traveling slowly, no doubt weighed down by its human cargo. Can't stand by and let this happen. We must free them. Mind the crew to be wary if the ship is destroyed. Everyone on board, slaves and all, will die. It's a good thing that uh, that is not our... <clears throat> oh, they're trying to get closer to us as well, so I'm going to move to here. Gr oh, they got one of those ugly buggers again. Okay. So they don't seem to want to run. It's probably best if I moved you to like here then. Actually, why don't you go here and you man grape shot? I'm gonna hit this guy as much as I can. He's the melee fighter of the bunch, so... The more he gets... quote-unquote fudged up, the better our lives are gonna be, right? At least that's the plan. Are those breaches? That can't be right, that's gonna be way too much breaches. We're almost ready to board. I wouldn't mind another grape shot blast or two. Especially to fudge that guy up at the back. Let's give him one more grape shot thing. Maybe a mortar if it's ready in time. Sure. Okay, these four will go deal with him. Done. Move over there in case he explodes. Incoming. Crew member? Mm -hmm. Pull open the doors to the hold and are met by a dozen of afraid blinking faces. Even once freed, they are quiet and unsure. There are enough of them that know about running a ship to come near their former prison and say it to whoever they like. Provide them with suggestions of where to head. Although you do not know yourself where you're safe anymore, you have done a good deed. Yay! People are happy. But nobody joined, so it's not like. Extremely high morale? Nope. 
Meanwhile, my ship is taking on water. Not that that's something I need to bother with if I just click this, right? Yeah. I'm assuming morale is good, right? Makes sense. Two ships are shutting to view. You recognize one of them as having fled the port that came under attack. That pursues a called vessel slowly gaining ground. What are your orders, Captain? Attack! We brought the cult there, so... Cult vessel immediately switches attention to you. Whatever else happens, you've bought the fleeing ship time. Okay, they're trying to run, so this is fine, right? Yeah, we're just gonna have everything go for masts, so... Boop, boop. Wait, is that free firing now or something? There. Um... Okay, these aren't ready yet. What are you shooting at me? Bar shot hit. Temporarily frozen. Your face is temporarily frozen. That's all I'm saying. You got one of them ugly guys on board again as well, I see. Master down. Uh, once this is charged, we'll move to Grape Shop. Good. Why do I always get hit by stupid lightning? Good lord. Actually, you should do that. You should deal with that. Barsh. What? What are you talking about? Okay, here comes this guy. Hey, uh, this is close enough. This is close enough. We're gonna. Well, actually, we could ram now. Nah, we're gonna wait. Because I got this bad boy ready to go. I said I have this bad boy ready to go. Okay, uh, you... Four. Go deal with this chap. Okay, uh, go there. Go... There. You there. Okay, I want to give him one or two more grape shot blasts. At least one more, I think. Bar shot had temporarily frozen. It doesn't look frozen. So, 
Everybody died? <laughs> well, that's... Oh, wait, no, we're not done. We're not, well, we're not dead. Well, the battle was underway. The fleeing ship continued to escape. They're long gone, but at least temporarily safe from the cults. He said about collecting... How did that happen? Was it water damage? Let's just leave combat. Pretend nothing happened. I wasn't shooting at them. Was there a fire that I missed or? Hmm. Am I missing anything on the map? No. Did they get hit by lightning? Apparently there's nothing left over here. Cult vessels beached on an island. Cults will be raided nearby villages and farms for slaves. The second culture flies in the waters by it, and immediately moves to intercept it to protect its prone companion. If they got the first ship quickly, we can bombard the beach vessel while it is vulnerable. Cult is on the island have seen you as well and have abandoned their raid to return to their ship. If not to feed the vessel quickly, they will be added be able to add their ship to the fray. Well we haven't seen a 2v1 or anything along the likes yet. Sending uh, their card out uh, so quick. Can I hit mast with this thing? I need to know. Mm, yeah, it doesn't really do that much damage though. Let's get on the grape shot and the mortar. Uh, we're almost ready to ram. Enemy ramming. Why? Th That's stupid. That's my idea. We'll be ready for them, I guess. We'll counter ram. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, though. Should I be getting a uh, brace for impact thingy? Brace. There we go. Brace for impact. Jeez, just shoot them in the face with this thing. Make them regret their life's decisions. That's hull being low, but I'm fine with that. Did you really forget to brace, even though you're the one that started the whole maneuver thing? That's sad, dude. Focus your targets, that's the way we win. Right, now the big question, were we fast enough? First battle, when you immediately turn your attention to the second vessel. I doubt we need to repair, but I'm going to, I think. Man, our ship is looking like... Fudge. Uh, apparently I can't repair unless I do this. Yeah, then they'll repair it. I'm going to do it just because this is a weird scenario. 
I'm just gonna leave this little bit off and if it does get repaired then I know that uh, we don't have to worry about that in the future. Because, you know, causes have turned to the ship but are struggling to get it back into the water. You represent these target for your crew who take great relish in the target practice. Before a long culture was destroyed, its crew lying in tattered rags along the beach. You can only imagine how grateful the local islands will be for a time of intervention. You collect the obvious valuables and set sail. Cool. And apparently we've explored everything here. So we take our leave through the gate. And unfortunately I don't think we can go to that port anymore. Yeah, I think that port is fubber nucked. Seems to call have thrown caution to the winds of your departure and the appearance of the Kraken Halifar on land blocking a port. The rusty gulls you. You give up any hope for a quiet escape. Lying awake for hours, you rack your brains over how you fight a deep sea creature you cannot reach. Fitful sleep finally claims you. Nature's unfathomable consciousness bears down on you with terrible weight. Tentacles rise again, snatching at you. But now you can hold them off. You sense frustration and a curiosity from the consciousness at your newfound strength. A huge gaping maw emerged from the blackness, ready to envelop you. A beacon appears in the hot, encroaching darkness, before sinking beneath you and exploding in an absolute illumination. The marsh rings back with a roar. You sit bolt upright in your bunk, taught at realization. If you can somehow hit the crack under water, it may emerge and become vulnerable. But how? An indistinct memory forms, emerging as if from a thick fog. Yes, now remember. The isle where answers live. We call it Deep Sea Mine. Again, I'm pretty sure they didn't have those back in the day. We call the crew to attention we make for the Isle of Landfall. The artificers in the Great Library don't know how to help us. No one will. You pause, letting this new information sink in. Without update charts, we won't know the safest routes there, so we must find an explorer's guild in a nearby port. Maybe if I see if we're land falling to visit the explorer's guild to update your charts. I wouldn't mind being brought to a port straight away. What's this green? Oh, cool, there's other ships here. Uh, let's just head for port and repair. You'll go about their business unaware that their neighbor port was captured by the cult. You make your way to the explorer's guild so you can get information on the safest route to landfall. On the way, you pass several other places in the Place of interest of bleh, words. Did I find yourself on the wrong side of the law? You can pay off fines at the magistrates. Okay. Uh, the higher one level, the more expensive bounties. Okay, no problem. Third, your adventure of your crew may acquire the service of an apothecary. When your crew are incapacitated in combat, they'll pick up negative. Yeah, we went over that. These provide a modifier to how that crew member performs. The apothecary can heal these ailments. Oh, okay, cool. So it's kind of like uh, how it worked in, what is it called again? Uh, you're probably already yelling it. Oh yeah, Dankest Dungeon. Is that, was it called that way? Yeah, I think so. So eventually your crew can become badly hurt. When this happens, they are unavailable to using combat. You can revive them here. All right, prison. So, Sometimes things will not go your way. You may find yourself alone and low on money. In desperate need of a crew to help claw your way back to the top. In these instances, a prison is a, very, is a way to replace your crew at very low cost. By paying their fine, you can have these criminals serve on your ship. They do, however, have negative mental traits that hamper their effectiveness. Each criminal is unable to gain experience, so they will always stay at the basic level. So I'm assuming the second guy, <laughs> the second guy, 
was put into the game by somebody who paid for that. Increase <sighs> melee damage against spiders. Okay, there are spiders in the game. Cool. Stubborn convict does not get experience. Okay, and they all have that one, yeah. Because okay, Halifron and other monsters. Okay, well, we are. We could use somebody extra, but we can find that somewhere else. Uh, fire charge. You can fire on charge, mapping out local area and explorers guild. will pay you a small reward for this updated information. You can use Banker. Okay, cool. Banship auto saves your game continually. It will also save your game when you quit. Find a pause menu when the option reads save and exit. Okay. Uh, when you die, your auto save will be deleted. However, if you paint a captain's log, this will allow you to create a captain's save log. Dying with a captain's log save means you'll be able to load back the last captain's save log and resume your adventure from there. Okay. It's giving you captain's log used now. Like, oh my, do I really have to? Fine. 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 Rare and finite. Yeah. My shoes went blah, 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 blah. Finish the leave. Okay, I'm not gonna leave the port. I need to fix my damn ship. Oh, can I can I combine new people here. How do I? Where do I go to? Speak one of officials asking information for safe past. Yada yada. Here is route allows to avoid some of the hazards in the open sea. Okay, but can I like, you know, repair? I, okay, yes. Map destination highlighted. <sighs> There's no career in my skirt either side of the law. Repeatedly break it, and the consequence should become severe. Sea forts will open fire on you. Bounty hunters could be dispatched to exact justice or ports now you enter. Chance of redemption either by foiling acts of piracy or paying for your deeds in ports or neutral floating outposts. Okay. You can now raid trade routes. If you sail onto the dotted line marks the trade route, you can press the highlight button to raid it. Doing so will occur gold over time. It will gradually increase your wanted level. Moving pyro called vessels from raided yellow or blocked red trade routes will reduce your wanted level. Okay, so raid them and then get rid of the competition. But what I want to do now is please repair. Thank you. Right, okay. So, what do we have? The lightning gun fires a bolt of electricity which changed to nearby crew, interrupting them for a short time. Moderate crew damage with a small stun period. Damage changed between multiple crew. Cause higher damage when fired whilst it is raining. Mortar shell hits the ship with such a force that it triggers a brace for impact test. Moderate hull section and crew damage creates a single hull crack. Nope. Catapult. Okay. Can I get rid of one of these? Sell an individual can for eight. Okay, and get one more for thirty. Like <laughs> a lot of bad return on your investment. Um, can I move this to here? Like use two chain shots, and once we are close to them flip the ship around. We wouldn't be able to board anymore, but we could flip. I'm willing to try this. Um, hull spikes, lifeboats. We have a diving bell. Performance. Eight. 
greatly improved rate. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't upgrade the... Can't upgrade the sides things, okay. Um, mass sections will change distance at greater speed. So we're not getting a new crew member unless we sell some stuff. You'll be able to transfer the chosen upgrade to a new ship. Hmm? Can we get like a man of war that's like... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Probably like the most famous ship out there, isn't it? It still only has two guns, but it can have more on them, I guess. Um, I think we're good for now, right? Okay. Um. I think that's going to do it for this episode then. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're still in the series of free shows. Probably coming like in or semi-fair. Ready? See you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone.